Good day and welcome to another edition of Zero to Hero in Python programming. Today we'll be treating graphical user interface with, in Python. We'll be focusing on taking it. I know there are other graphical user interface in, for, in Python, but for this tutorial, we'll be using TK Inter. And basically, what we'll be doing in this tutorial is we'll do the graphical user interface with the introduction to TK Inter. Then the next tutorial will be more of advanced TK Inter or build a board, which I will show you the, um, the, the UI, UI, I mean the UI of it. Then, moving on from there, we'll, we'll start building stuff with TK Inter. Those things that we'll be building, that is the calculator, the photo editor, will not be part of this series, but it will be still be on this YouTube channel. So, in case you like any of them, you can just check the other tutorial. So, having said that, introduction to TK Inter. So, basically, I'm importing TK Inter as a module. In case you don't have it, which you should have, but in case you don't have it, just pip install TK Inter, but it's normally come with Python by default. So I'm importing TK Inter and I'm checking the version here. So version 8.6, TCL version 8.6. So to test TK Inter, I'll just run this to see if it's actually working. So let me just drag this in. Easy to do that. So you see something like this on your screen. By the time you when you run this test, so click me, you see it's adding the square brackets and the like. So when you press quit, it will quit out of that. So basically, here yeah, I just want to show you a button as in doing a button with TK Inter. So basically, I said from TK Inter import star, that is, I don't want to start importing TK Inter all the time. In case you want to build something big, you can just import all the modules in TK Inter. But mind you, it is not best practice. I don't do it. I just want to show you here is why I did it here. If you notice, I'll be using TK Inter dot something something going forward. But in case you just want to do that, maybe you are tired of typing TK Inter and over and over again. And mind you, intelligence is there for you. You just use tab. Just write, write TK and use tab. It automatically completes it for you. But in case you want to do that, you can do that. So that is that. So basically, I've printed a button. You can see BTN equals button TK text equals click me so that's the text you are seeing if add and you can see when i'm clicking nothing is happening because i didn't attach it to any function but if i had changed what it was here to let's say um, don't quit if i run that you can see it don't quit that is appearing there so that's a text on that button so we are calling the button function from tk inter so actually the normal thing we should do is tk inter dot button and the likes like that but because we we we, we we've imported all the functions in tk inter so you can just call button straight like that so mind you to do anything you have to you want this main loop main loop must end every of your program so basically you write you import tk inter you create a window for it which is what we did here then we we actually okay this pack we, we talk about government geometric functions in tk inter i mean geometry in tk inter in fact that's the next thing we need to discuss so geometry basically is what we are using this pack for then the main loop is just to show everything we are doing so it will just show on the board and the likes like that so having said that let's move straight to this so basically you can set your geometry for example i'm going to use 640 by 480 plus 8 plus 400 that this one is just the how do i put it now the, the edges and the likes like that but i'm using 640 by 480 if i run this mind you this may look without this one mind let me just comment out this part if i run this now it will run but it won't show me anything but if i uncomment this part now you can see it's showing me the board so you can see the size of the board on my screen right now so there's nothing on it i just that's the geometry I said. Remember, we didn't set geometry here, so just took the size of what we what was on the board. But we set geometry here, so it's giving us that size. And mind you, this Windows title is what we appear on top of this place. Sorry, I've not closed this one. So, so that's that about that. So now I want to treat geometry in TK Inter, then Park Manager, every window except the root one most have a master window that what i basically define there is okay these are master window here so every this geometry is defined for this main window if you notice here we just if you notice the first one 
that's what we are doing here so this is the main window here so here too this is our main window so everything we are doing now will be defined on this that's why at the end of it all we have to use this windows i mean main loop to close the whole thing so that's that you can see i did tk into main loop so here too i have to do main windows main loop so everything must be built on the it must it must have a root so this everything here has its root in main window you can see label is built and we decided the 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 position it will be on and you can see the label is built on main window then the label dot pack all this is built on the label you can see this canvas too is built on main window so that's the root of the whole thing uh -huh. then geometry manager we have different geometry managers but here we are using pack so label so we define the label then we said label python g GUI. so that's what will be we appear on top of our our graphical design our interface then we have this canvas main relief wrist and the like like this this relief is just basically let me just run it so it, you will see this relief is just telling you what, what it will look like is it raised or sunken so here we are raising it up you can see it's something like this this board here is coming out of this our ui but if we use sunken it will look like it's going into it so if i let me just run sunken if i run this now you can see it's like it's going into the board so that's that on the relief and the like let me just change it back to what it was so raised so then moving on from there so we actually pack this pack is telling us i mean the geometry manager is just telling us where it will be on the on the board so basically we said top here we said this one should be on i mean the label should be on top that's why it's appearing on top let me explain that so we said label should be on top it's appearing on top then we said this one should appear on the left so it's appearing side equals left so it's appearing on the left if i had said appear on the right let me just run right you can see it appearing on the right hand side so that's that on that so the next thing we want to do here is okay canvas fill tk inter dot y <laughs> here we can add few manager that is we want it to occupy the whole space we are now say in the y coordinate so basically if you did um, plotting in probably your high school you would have done x and y coordinate so the y coordinate is just telling us that go fill the whole place horizontally this vertical this horizontal so fill the whole space from top to bottom so that's what we told it here so when we run this you can see it filled it from top to bottom but mind you if we try to do that to fill it in the um, vertical coordinate it will not fill it because we've told it to be on on the left hand side so telling it to fill the whole thing is like i'm on the left hand side why do you want me to go to the right something like that so that's why it won't fill it there so basically if we add if we now add expand to it if we add expand to it it will fill the whole thing so that's basically that so we are telling it to expand beyond what we've given it before so that's that on that then you can change the side to to top if you change the side to top and you say it should go on fill the whole um, x coordinate it will fill it but if you now try to do that same thing for the y coordinate it will not work because remember we said to the top so it's just stay at the top but if we now add expand again it will run whatever we want it to run so it will feel the whole thing because we told it to expand downward so that that on that so now we can add boats that is few boats from the top to bottom and from side to side so if we run that you can see it did not run to the um, y coordinate totally the y coordinate because we asked it to be at the top so for it to fill the whole thing we still need to add what again that expand expand i mean definition we have to we need to define that expand should be true so when we do that it will expand and fill the whole screen aside from the part this one is already occupying so basically what is happening here is we are just arranging things on each other that's what pack does so the one you call first will come first then the one you call after it will come immediately after that one so you are now trying to say okay go to the right go to the left go to the west go to the south and the likes like that so now we can add buttons so basically we want to add buttons to our 
our main window. For example, you can see this button is called on our main window. So if we print, okay, this is how to print call button. I showed you the other time. So remember, I told you, I didn't we imported from import from TK Inter import star. That is, we are importing all the functions in on, in the TK Inter module. You won't have used TK Inter dot this. So because we just want to use the button now, and we didn't import everything inside TK Inter, so we have to call it on TK Inter. And mind you, you call a module that is very large, it will slow down your program. So that's why just call the ones you want to use and leave leave the rest to just lie there. So basically, that's this button now. So we are calling this button on the main window. So if you see it, it's appearing on the main window. And mind you, if you check the position, I said button text button A, button B, button C. That's anchor to the. We are saying side the course left. Then we are saying, okay, we did. We've not called the anchor here. So basically, we just did that. But mind you, if I say, okay, instead of you appearing on my main window now, I want you to appear on my canvas. If I say canvas here. If I run this, you can see it's appearing on my canvas, not just beside the canvas now. So that's that on that. So let me just change it back to main window so it will appear beside the canvas, not on the canvas. So that's that on that. So our sides moving forward now. So you can see we set the side here to be left. And everything is on the left. So and that thing we can do now is we can anchor it, that is. Okay, be on the left, but I want you to be anchored to the top. So it's something like I'm on the left and I'm at the top. So not the anchor to south. So I'm at the left and I'm at the south. Then if I say anchor to east, I'm at the left, I can't go to the east. So that one will not work. You just maintain its position. So that's what is happening here. You can see this one moved up, this one moved downwards, but this one could not move to the left because basically what Park does is it takes the size of what is inside it so this is the size of what is inside it now so there's no space to move to the left except you decide you determine the geometry of this grid I mean, sorry we are using pack we don't move to grid we still do the grid view so that's that on this one so let me move it on from there okay we we'll handle this so moving on from there now if you now change it to top and we say north south east you can you will see the one going to the east will work but the one going to south will not work because it can't move to the south. It is told it to be at the top. So you can't move against what you have be, you have been predefined to do. So that's that on that. So and that you want to do here is packing widget inside frame can help make positioning a little bit better. Yeah. So basically now we want to design design if a design a frame so here is where we are bringing the frame now so tk enter the frame so we create we created a frame then want to put our buttons inside that frame so we anchor the frame to the knot so that that on that then we said expand so it will fill the whole space available then we are now saying okay oh, button will oh, be on this frame which is the right frame so if we run this now you can see the, you can see everything is moving to inside within the frame which is anchored to what to the not okay, sorry it has moved to the next sp space so let me call it back so you can see this one is anchored to the not that's why that's why these things are in the not as on uh, uh, side then we now store these buttons okay be at the top so since they are the not and the buttons are at the top so that's that so we can now use our frame now to now decide the positioning of the old thing so now Next tutorial, we talk about grids because I don't want this tutorial to exceed 15 minutes and we're already on the 13th minute. I hope you understood what we've done so far. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you.